A complex fraction is basically two fractions divided by each other, right? So when you have a numerator with a fraction and a denominator with a fraction. Um, and like we discussed before, right, if you have one half divided by four fifths, this is going to be one half times five over four, right, the reciprocal, so it'll just be five over eight, all right? So that's what we can do here. I have one fraction on top and another fraction on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is x squared over 9x squared minus 4y squared times the reciprocal. Okay. And here we're going to factor these. So let's see how these things factor. Um, I'm going to have x, so I have one main fraction, x squared. Um, does anything factor out from there? No. Okay. What can I factor? How can I factor the denominator there? Um, oh. 2, uh, 3x minus 2y. 3x plus 2y times the x cubed. Okay. So... This and this, I'm going to have an x. So again, I always like keep my main fraction bar intact. I'm going to have an x. Okay, what happens here? Anything canceling out here? Um, two, yes, so this and this will give you a negative. negative one. And the other one doesn't go away. So I'm going to have a negative one on top times 3x plus 2y. Okay, so um, okay, so we technically have nothing left on the top, so you have to put a one over there, okay? And then the negative, the negative can go here. Um, so here is how negatives with fractions work, okay? If you have a fraction, let's say one over four, and it's a negative, you can make it negative one over four like that. You can make it one over negative four, or it could be negative, 1 over 4. All of those mean the same. You just can't have two negatives, right? Okay. So let's do this next one. Okay, let's factor and reciprocal and stuff. Okay, so how do we factor this top one? Um, let's see. So it's going to be... So I'm factoring these two now, all right? So, 2x and x, is it going to be, no, I think it's negative 5 plus 6. Yeah, because you get 12 minus 5. So, 12 minus, okay. And then the bottom, it's actually going to be, 2x minus 5, 3x plus 1. If you are, like, if, if you're feeling like, you know, um, you've, you still need a little work on factoring, which we all do, we'll get there. Right now, I want to focus on how to solve this problem, and then we'll talk about, like, how we actually factor it. Okay, so now, this is being divided by the other one. So you, it's up to you, right? You can either do divided by, and then the fraction, and then flip it, or you can flip it right here. Just be careful so you don't um, like mess up that order, all right? Um, like if you want to skip a step and do less writing, I'll let you flip it right over here. But just, you know, focus so you don't like mess that up. Okay, so when I factor this, the 4x squared plus 12x minus 72, it's going to go on the bottom, right? So what is that going to be? Okay, you know what? I think I'm actually going to go on the board here. So look at this. How do we factor this? Let's take out a 4 first. So we're going to do some scratch work. Plus 24, right? Is that right? So this is going to be 4x plus... Yep. Oh, Okay, hang on. Let's. Um, what's seventy-two divided by four? Fourteen. 
No. Okay. Four times what is it? X plus six, X minus three. Okay, so that was this, right? Where is it gonna go over here, top or bottom? Bottom. So four X plus six, X minus three. Okay, um, this one, when I factor it, I'm gonna get three X and X plus one minus four, okay? So let's do this and then we'll talk about the factoring again. All right, so what cancels here? The, these go away, first of all. These, oh wow, x plus six, okay. All right, pretty much everything. So we have left x minus four over four x minus three. Okay. Okay. So take a look at this. The volume of a cylinder below can be modeled by the expression this, um, which could be the height of the cylinder, right? So what do you think the height of the cylinder is? So if this is the volume, what is the formula for the volume of a cylinder? It's the base area times the height. What's the base area if it's circular? How much is the base area? Pi r squared h okay so what is the radius here so if you factor out a 2 we get x plus 3 so the radius is x plus 3 okay all right so what <coughs> what are we given here for the volume we're given that this is the volume, right? Okay. So, what do you guys think here? How can we rewrite that? Do you think we can factor this out? Let's factor it. When you factor it, what do you get? x minus 6, x plus 3, times pi, all right? Okay, so now, when I have pi r squared h up above, if my radius was x plus 3, right, it would be pi x plus 3 squared times h, is that right? Yep. So now, what do you think the height is over here? X minus 6. Because this can be written as x plus 3 squared times pi times x minus 6. So x minus 6 is the height. Okay? Right? The x plus 3 squared, that's the radius squared. All right. Um, 